gonna go hit the hay already. It's only nine o'clock, but my usual bedtime is eight thirty, so it won't hurt to stay up another hour. All right, I guess it won't. One hour later. All right, it's ten. Now I really have to sleep. Come on, man. Why would you miss quality time with the boys? Fine, one more hour. One hour later. Dang, I'm gonna fall asleep. I really gotta sleep now. Come on, just one more. Hour. So sleepovers, right? That's what this video is about. Yeah. Sleepovers, the very loud yet fun experiences that you have with your friends. Those. The funnest song is the people there aren't insane. It's fun if they're done right. You head over to your friend's house, eat candy for like two hours, watch a movie, and end up staying awake until 2 a.m. talking about your life. It's a great time, but honestly, nobody plans to sleep at sleepovers. What's the point of going over to a friend's house to hang with the boys if you're not actually gonna hang with the boys? In my opinion, I understand the concept, but I like sleep. I don't care if my friends are having fun in the other room while I'm sleeping on the floor alone. Yeah, I just can't stay awake long at all. If I stay more than three hours past my bedtime, my brain just goes. I like sleepovers, if the people I go with aren't insane. Since multiple times I've tried to sleep and the people next to me are so loud that I end up sleeping in the other room. Fun. I've had some crazy experiences in sleepovers. Like that one time me and my friends went to sleep in the living room but woke up in the dining room. Wait, this is in the dining room. I had a tradition with a certain group of friends from my old school where we would watch the same movie every time we would sleep over. But over time, the group got smaller and smaller, and now I don't see them anymore. Dang. Well, I guess I'll sleep over by myself. <laughs> I'm not lonely. Another time, I was at my other friend's house with a couple of other people, and it was around 10 o'clock. I was getting tired, so I was heading to bed in the separate room across from them, but they were so loud that I ended up sleeping upside down in my sleeping bag. Yes, they can't hurt me anymore. Yeah. But my most favorite sleepover experience is one that I had at Legoland. Yeah! Me and my group of friends went to the hotel first, then the next day we went to the park. We chilled in the hotel, and it was a blast. We played with Legos, watched multiple movies, and overall chilled. It was pretty fun. But the interesting part happened later on in the day. We were getting to bed and there was one section in the room where there was a bunk bed that had a pull out bed under it, which would be three beds. But we had four people. But luckily for me, I had a whole bed to myself. My friends wanted to stay up until midnight while I didn't, so they let me have the king bed. So I slept pretty early and they stayed up. My friends told me that a little after I slept, some crazy dude started to violently knock on the door. My friends hid away from the door until one of my friends would call Lynn. Lynn went up to the door and checked and we thought it was my friend's mom, but it wasn't. So they all hid again and waited it out. My friend said that in his mind, he was scared that he would break into the room and kidnap me first since I was in plain sight asleep. But after a while, he left and that was that. And hours later when I woke up, one of my friends was sleeping next to me. It was like 7 in the morning, so I didn't think anything of it, and fell back to sleep. I woke up again an hour later, and my other friend was there. And I just suspected that maybe the first time I was just seeing things. So I fell asleep again. Then I woke up again, and there was another person in his place. I sat up and saw my friend staring at me. It freaked me out, so I just got up and changed. So that's all I have. I do love going to sleepovers. I just like the sensation of eating unhealthy food until midnight, so if you haven't gone to a sleepover before, go grab your friends and have one. And if you don't have friends, don't expect me to be your friend. You touch grass. Ugh. Hello. Um, yes, you can see that I'm a popsicle. I've started using these little popsicle stick characters in my videos now because I feel like when I have no idea what I'm gonna make. I just have popsicle sticks to go to, so that's like my backup plan. So that's why the popsicle sticks make a cameo in here a couple times. This video was created uh, relatively quick. I uh, figured out what I want to do, and I went with it, and here we are. I did it. Have a good day. There's no after credit scene because I don't feel like making after credit scene. And I also wanted to say. So if you're not going to be able to do that, you're not going to be able to do that.